of my colour, riding horses and everything. Yeah, so they're proud of me. They're very proud of me. Success will take commitment and training. This is a Miller and Zara on the gallops, thanks to the Cheltenham racehorse trainer Kim Bailey. They're aiming for their first race together in September at Wolverhampton. Alice Bouvery, BBC Points West, Gloucester. Yeah, and good luck. I'm very impressed. Now, if you feel ready to retire at 65, spare a thought for Dorothy Watson from the Cotswolds, who is still working after her 100th birthday. Tomorrow, she's going to put in her last shift baking bread and cakes in the guiding power. 70 years after she first started, Robin Markwell went to meet her. In the heart of a traditional Cotswold village, a most traditional of bakeries, for 70 years they've used the same oil-powered oven and the same mixer. And in all that time, the same woman, Dorothy Watson, has been behind the counter. Oh, I've enjoyed it, but I like the people. And it's a lovely village. I'm a hundred, you see. So it's time to stop, isn't it? She moved here from the Midlands with her husband, who died young. But she kept the bakery going with son Chris and daughter-in-law Christine, soon winning the hearts of the village. And I mean, even now, my grandchildren tell me that she gives, it, she gives them, they all get free sweets. They all call the little children called a Penny Watson. So precious to us all, really. Dorothy's even big in Japan, featuring in a documentary earlier this year. And what will you do now, now that you've got all this free time on your hands? Yeah, sleep a lot of it. Well, they are all be coming in to see me, you see. I shall be inundated with visitors, but I've told them they've all got to make their own tea. I'm not waiting on them. We'll be Mark or BBC Points West in Guiding Power. So they've agreed they will. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've said it on the BBC now, so they'll have to stick to it. You report them to us otherwise. Right, I love that. Uh, it's time for the weather. It was a breezy day. Can't we have a middle ground?